my ancestors' writings, and the artifacts in my father's trunk are priceless. They are the clues to some of the greatest mysteries and treasures in the history of our world. Deeper into the ship, he found a timber that he could climb that would get him up to the upper deck. He scrambled his way up. In moments, he was standing on what was left of the ship's deck. It's coming from over there. Hey, Garrett. Hit your head in the pirate cave? Garrett turned, and there standing no more than 50 feet from him was Toby Halloran and Louis Hawthorne. What's in the bag? Garrett stuffed the leather pouch in his pocket and continued to climb. What'd you find, Garrett? Go to Bloom's? Garrett's face went white. How did they know, he thought. They didn't. It was a guess. But Garrett's face told them they had guessed right. There on the sand in front of him were all the boys that had humiliated him in front of the whole school as well as a few new ones. Suddenly, without warning, a massive sea dragon lunged from the water with jaws gaping wide open. Garrett saw the rows of teeth and the enormous mouth and quivering lips coming for him. But Garrett had nowhere to go. He was pinned against the rocks with no chance for escape. Garrett leapt into the air, avoiding the demon's teeth. Stretching to his utmost limits, the angry beast was just able to wrap his lips around Garrett's slender torso. A moment later, Garrett was five feet below the surface of the water. 